and welcome to Zazumi. I'm Sherry Barbera, and today we're talking about how to create your YouTube trailer in Canva. Woo! <laughs> And of course, I'm super excited about this. I love Canva and we made our own YouTube intro in Canva. Here it is. Okay, so what is a YouTube trailer? Well, I made a little video for you that I'm gonna play right now to show you what is a trailer. You want to start with who. So who's your customer and who are you? Someone who wants what? Like do you want to live a healthy lifestyle? And then who are you? Well, hi, I'm a health nut. <laughs> okay, so that's who you are. Now what is your content about and what's your motivation? Like for example, I love to exercise. I like to eat healthfully, so I'm going to show you exercises and healthy recipes and how to get motivated doing just you know good stuff and finally when are you going to post and what's your call to action well join me 9 a.m. Monday through Friday and be sure to subscribe to live a healthy lifestyle with me Rebecca so this is an example of the kind of trailer that you can make in Canva and it really is pretty simple. How do you do that? Well, you log into Canva. If you don't have an account, set up an account and then log into Canva. Type YouTube video in the search box. You want, the reason for that is because Canva itself presets up a 1920 by 1080 pixel size, which is the perfect horizontal size for YouTube. And then you want the length of your trailer to be somewhere between 36 seconds, which is what YouTube considers a view, and two minutes. So you never want to go under 36 seconds. It's just not worth it if you want to get watch time. So be sure you do that. YouTube is pretty popular on Canva. As you can see, there are 665 templates that you can use to start with to make your trailer. Now, when I started making these slides, which was only two days ago, there were 660 templates. So Canva is constantly adding additional content for you on a regular basis. Next thing you wanna do is select your template by either theme, style, or color, and all of those options will be found on the side of the page when you're on Canva itself. And then choose a template that at least has three up to even 10 pages already. And these are pages down here. So if you're not sure what a page is, that is what a page is. Okay, next. In Canva, you can customize every single element and elements are something like text, graphics, even videos. So you can add or change animation that has to do with the text, animation that has to do with the graphics, the text itself, you can change the style, the font, the color, everything, and you can change videos because Canva even has videos. So this is how you add animation. You go up to the top of the page, click on animate, and then all of these options come up. When you want to change how long the animation runs for, you go to the top of the page and there is a stopwatch with how many seconds it is. You can change that literally by clicking on it. You can make it longer or shorter. You can also add or change your text by clicking on your dashboard on the left side on text and then you can change it to you know, almost anything that you can imagine. You can also add music by clicking on audio on your dashboard on the left side and then selecting some kind of music that you want to see. You can type in even the word happy, okay? Or exercise or yoga or whatever it is that you're trying to get to and then click see all and all of that type of music will come up for you. Then you want to, once you've completed everything you want to do, 
click the arrow at the top of your screen. It's going to show you how many seconds it's up to and you can play your video and see what it looks like. And it's going to show you from start to finish all the way through what your video looks like. And then you can decide, you know, does it look good? Does it not look good? If it looks good, now you can go to download. That's on the top upper right of your Canva page and click download. And the file type is going to come up as MP4 video. Yes, you want an MP4 video. So click download. And that is what it looks like. I have a question. Yes. I have Hold a on question. one second. Yes. I have a question. Okay. <laughs> Sal? <laughs> yes. My question is in two parts. Part number one. Part number one, uh, when you're making your thank you. When you're making your trailer, yes. um, what the ideal length for a trailer again? The ideal length Always for a trailer forget. is thirty six seconds at the minimum all the way up to two minutes at the maximum. You want to think of your trailer like a movie trailer. Okay, so the whole idea is that you're enticing people to subscribe. Well, okay? that's why it's one of the reasons I asked it because movie trailers have all of a sudden become long. They've become very <laughs> long. In fact, we get very annoyed because they show almost the whole movie. Yeah, I like hate that. Like what's going to happen all the way through the movie. I, I hate so that. The so. question also is, how long can the trailer be in Canva? Is there a, a cutoff point where you can't make it any bigger? Oh, that's such a great question. And the answer to that is, I'm not sure because I've never made, no, I've never made a video over two minutes in Canva. So I think you can make- Did you an, say I'm not sure? Yes, because I haven't made one myself, but I believe, I believe <laughs> you can make one as long as you want. Now, the thing about doing that is the download time. So when you download from Canva, it takes, it a, long takes a long time. Uh -oh. Yeah, even that 36 second video that I made, the trailer video, it took like, I don't know. I mean, for me, this is long. I think it took three or four minutes to download, which, you know, it used to be that that would probably take half an hour, <laughs> right? But not anymore, well, yeah. but not anymore. So. I would say it just depends upon how long you are willing to wait for a video, but you can probably make a five to 10, even a 15 minute video in Canva, but I sort of don't recommend for it. For a trailer, you, you want to just keep it small and concise. Two and minutes. Just tell about your channel, so yeah. Right, two I minutes just, I was just curious to see how long you could make it and still make it in Canva. All right, that's something we'll have to get back to, but thank you for the question. <laughs> I stumped the band a bit. Thank you for the question. Okay, let's go back to the slides. So once you've downloaded your trailer video, and in Canva, if you haven't added sound to that, which you can do in Canva, but I'm not showing that to you right now. I'm just showing you how to make the trailer. Download that and then pop it into your editing software program and I use Final Cut Pro, and as you can see, here it is. And then you can do your voiceover so it's perfect on the entire video. Why do I say that? Well, the reason I say that I think it's easier to download it and not do the voiceover in Canva itself is because now you can export the entire trailer import the entire 36 seconds or two minutes or whatever it is and voice over seamlessly from start to finish. In Canva, you have to stop and start and stop and start. That might be fine for some of you. That drives me crazy. I like to just say the whole thing and be done with it. So that's kind of, kind of up to you. Okay, let's get back to it. Next would be make your thumbnail, right? So you finish making your video, you export your video to your computer. Now you're ready to upload it, but you gotta make your thumbnail first. I make all my thumbnails in Canva. Then upload it to your channel. So what you wanna do is when you get into your own YouTube channel and you know you're signed in because your icon is gonna show up in the top right of your screen, click on the video icon and it will drop down and say upload video or go live. You want to upload a video. So click on that. And then this screen will come up and you can just drag your video right onto that. Now, 
you want to save your video just like you would save any other video so I'm not going to go through all of that but at that point that's when you add your custom thumbnail now once you've uploaded your video to your YouTube channel the next step for you to add it to your channel is to go back to your home page where your blue buttons are on your home page customize channel manage videos click on customize channel what's going to come up is a screen that says channel customization the first tab is layout that's what you want layout directly below that it says video spotlight add a video to the top of your channel homepage this is your channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed and this is where you're going to add your channel trailer now you've already saved it to your videos so what you want to do is you want to come over to the right there and there will be three dots okay click those three dots if you've never uploaded or made a trailer now it's just going to say add a trailer and you're going to say yeah and then in my case it's going to be change or remove a video because i've already got one up there when you click on add a trail add a video or change it this is the screen that will come up choose a specific video you can type in a video here or you can just choose from all of the videos that you already have saved on your computer now when you go back to your home page look there's your trailer directly below your banner so it's your banner your icon and your trailer and this will be what people see when they come to your channel and it's all about branding right this is all about branding so let's go to canva and i'm going to show you directly on canva so here we are in canva and before i get too much further i just want to say for those of you that are here i'm going to go over to sal and me for a second for those of you that are here thank you so much for being here we appreciate you and you are welcome always to join us in the chat and say hi so that we can see you in person and say hi and welcome and we love doing that and we love to get your questions so don't be afraid to get into the chat while we're live when we have already filmed and now it's a replay leave your comments below the video so that we can reply to you with your questions okay with the answers all right ask, wait ask excellent questions like i just did <laughs> so that you get excellent answers right or maybe not so excellent but but answers all right here we go let's go back to the internet and on the top page you're going to see where to type in youtube videos that's what you want to type in and then there will be a drop down on canva youtube video add no youtube gaming videos no youtube videos yeah that's what we want so we are going to click on youtube video and what's going to come up is that amazing page that shows us 665 <laughs> templates right so all these templates here are the filters where you can filter out exactly what you want by theme style or color and i have already pre-chosen the video that i made into a trailer for you guys so that is called and if you look at this right here here's the template I clicked on the template it gives you I'm just going to scroll into that a little bit so you could see it better um, it gives you the name of that template YouTube intro for healthy lifestyle sports fashion so that is what they call this template now what you want to see that's really important is apply all six pages one two three four five six these are what canva calls pages and the other thing you can do is simply apply one you don't have to select apply all six pages you can just click on individual pages if you want to if you don't like all of them now the next thing that's really cool and it's a clue to what the pages are is right here you can see i'm going to scroll in a little closer that there is a video icon here right a clickable icon that means this is a video so now we know yes we're looking at a video we're going to apply all six pages and when we've applied all six pages here they are at the bottom of our screen so now we have six pages to use 
as a starting point for our own trailer. And this is why when you go and you look at the different templates and you look at the options that you have, I'm just gonna click back to slides for a second. When you look at all the options that you have to make your own, did I show that to you? All right, I think I maybe did not show that to you yet. Um, when, you, when you look at all of the options that you have, and they come up under the templates, and I'm just gonna pop back to the templates and show you what I'm talking about. This is where you can say, okay, maybe I just want YouTube templates, and you just click on YouTube, and then if you do that, and let's say you just want pink, all right, now you're gonna get all pink templates. So this is just a starting point. But let's say you want pink fashion. So now you click on fashion and you're only going to get templates that are related to pink and are fashion. But what if you just want fashion? You deselect pink and now you've just got 49 fashion templates. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because you want to start out with something that already works for you, okay? Something that helps you on your way to your own trailer. So if you're in fitness, if you're in travel, if you're an educator like I am, if you are doing something like that and you want to make sure that you already start with something that has to do with who you are and what your channels are about, this is where you're able to look for templates that have to do with something that you do to get you started. Later, when you've been working on your channel for months and you have lots of content and you're really comfortable with who you are and what you're doing, now you can make a new trailer without using a template. Now you could go back in and you can use the videos that you've made and all kinds of stuff. But when you're a newbie and when you're just starting out and when you're not sure what you're doing or when you wanna up-level your trailer, Canva is a great way to get started with a new trailer. So that's what I'm showing you. All right, let's go back to choosing one of these templates. So I ended up choosing this one, the YouTube intro, it's, and it's an intro. And, I, and that's the other interesting thing is that this video is actually way too long for an intro for YouTube. It's over 22 seconds. And if you were here last week and you looked at the video about YouTube intros, you know an intro should never be more than eight seconds now. So 22 seconds, this is not an intro, okay? This is a trailer <laughs> to your channel. So we have a great start to a trailer, but now it's too short for a trailer. So I'm gonna show you what I did to lengthen it and make it usable and update it so that it's totally usable as a trailer if you had a health or fitness channel. All right, let's go back to what I am talking about here. So these are individual pages, and when you click on, let's say, the first page, and I just clicked on this page, up pops all of the elements on that page that are already there. The background's a video, this is text, and the blue thing is a graphic, and these white dots are a graphic. And those are the only elements that are on this page. But if I click on the video, which I did, now I'm going to see that it says tumble up at the top. And I just wanna show you what I'm talking about up here. It says tumble. And you can see I clicked on the video because when I selected it, it has a solid blue line around it. So when you select something, it will have a blue line around it. It will be solid if it's one element. It will be dotted if it's grouped. And I'm just gonna show you what that means. So when I select Healthy Lifestyle, Welcome to My Channel, you'll notice that it's got a dotted line along with a solid line. What that means is that it's grouped. And if you go up here behind my head, <laughs> you'll see it says ungroup. So this is where you could ungroup those, that text element, okay? But right now it's saved as one single element. By the way, Sam is here and pink is his favorite. Hey, Sam. 
Okay, I'm just gonna say, hey Sam, and welcome, and Pink is, you know, I love Pink too. <laughs> so, woohoo, thanks for being here. Love that you're here, Sam, thank you. Great to see you. Okay, so what do we do with these elements? Well, first of all, healthy lifestyle, welcome to my channel, really doesn't tell me anything about the channel. So what did I change that to? I'm gonna show you what I changed it to. I'm gonna cha I changed it to a mm. lot, I changed it a lot. And I changed it to, do you want to live a healthy lifestyle? And I added, I'm gonna zoom out on that. And I added an element that's a, an animated sticker and I added also this element that's an animated sticker. Now, why did I add them? Well, she's doing fitness and he's holding a vegetable. So I added both of them and I took her out. And the reason for that is because, yes, a YouTube video should start with, and I'm just gonna pop over to this next page, who, right? Who is your customer and who are you? So if we go back to the original intro, what does it say? Healthy lifestyle, welcome to my channel. That doesn't tell me who my customer is, right? So if I'm just coming to this channel, I'm thinking, is this right for me? I don't really know. Healthy lifestyle, welcome to my channel. It doesn't tell me anything. But if, if the first thing I see in the trailer is, do you wanna live a healthy lifestyle? Then I'm thinking, oh, this is talking to me. Do I want to live a healthy lifestyle? Yeah, actually I do. So do I. Okay, <laughs> so does so Al. And so I can relate to, do you want to live a healthy lifestyle? I can relate to somebody doing exercises. I can relate to eating vegetables. So now I'm thinking already this is talking to me. This is my kind of channel. And then if I play that, and the way that I play that is by going down and clicking on this little black button down here. I can just play that first page. Okay, that was the first page. Now, I'm back to that original trailer. Now, if I play that first page, you're gonna see how different that first page looks. And here we go. Okay, that kind of didn't tell you anything, did it? So all we know is that she wants us to feel welcome and she's blowing us a kiss. You know, that's nice, but <laughs> I, I still don't really know what her channel's about, but so this is what I changed it to. All right, I'm gonna go back so you can see what I'm talking about here. Do you want to live a healthy lifestyle? I do too. Hi, I'm Rebecca, a health nut. Okay, now we're starting to get the idea of why you make a trailer, right? Who are you talking to? Who's your ideal viewer? Your ideal viewer is the person you address first, primarily, okay? That's the first thing you want to do so that they already feel like, yeah, I'm in the right place. The second thing is, who are you, right? So she's a health nut, so we're just gonna introduce her as, hey, I'm Rebecca and I love healthy things. I'm a health nut. All right, now we're gonna see what is next. So what did I do here is I showed you who is your customer, someone who wants to what? Do you wanna live a healthy lifestyle? So you start with someone who wants to, and you answer that question. Do you wanna live a healthy lifestyle? Or do you wanna go on my travel adventures with me? Or do you love reading books? Or do you wanna be a writer? Or are you interested in Arizona? Or do you hate Arizona like I do, right, Sam? <laughs> So um, I love Arizona, it's Sam that doesn't like it. So these are the kinds of questions you ask immediately so that your viewer already feels like, oh, I get it, okay, so this channel's for me. The next thing you wanna do is say who you are. 
Hi. Well, I want to live a healthy lifestyle too. I'm Rebecca and I'm a health nut. And this is, you know, already getting people to say, oh, okay, so I know who she is. Her name's Rebecca. I know what she loves. She loves to be health and she's probably nutsy about it, right? So what's next? What's your content about and why? Why are you doing it? What's your motivation to do that content? So for Rebecca, it's I love to exercise. So you'll see quick and easy exercise classes. I like to eat healthfully. So I'm going to give you easy recipes for inside goodness because it's got to be healthy inside. I want to get motivated and I want you to get motivated with heart healthy activities. So this is all the stuff you're going to see on her channel, like walking for a healthy heart, even if it means shopping. So add a little humor in there always helps people smile. And then finally, well, actually, before we get to that, I am going to show you what the original trailer looked like and why I had to change it because it's like, what? Okay, here we go. So, healthy lifestyle, welcome to my channel. Sports, best quick and easy exercises. Healthy meals, easy recipes. Daily activities, my daily routine. Fashion and style ideas. Okay, so, I mean, I don't know about you. I'm just going to pop over to Sal and me. But I just felt like that was a great start for a trailer. It but just seemed I like a, it seemed like a list of stuff. It was a listicle. It was like a list. Right? It was a yeah, listicle. It didn't seem, I didn't, I wasn't engaged and I didn't feel like that was for me to join in or for me to do it also. It wasn't speaking directly to you, It looked the like viewer. her schedule. The yeah. The list of things that she does. Right. So let me know what you think in the chat because I really want to know what did you think about Canvas template as a stunner, as a uh, like launching point for your own trailer to give you ideas of what to do, but not to use, you know, just what they have. Or do you disagree with me and you think like that was cool and you could just use that? So let me know because I'd like to know, I truly would, what you think about that. Because <laughs> I was like, hmm. All right, let's go back to it. Are you going to show what you changed it to? Yes. Okay, good. So, um, so what I did was, you know, someone who wants, do you want to live a healthy lifestyle? Hi, who, this is who I am. What, what I changed it to is this. I love to exercise. So you'll see quick and easy classes. I like to eat healthy meals. So you're going to get my recipes for inside goodness. I need to get motivated and so do you with heart healthy activities like walking for a healthy heart even if it means shopping, right? These are all the fun things that you are talking to people about. So this is what I mean by voicing over, taking it down into your video editing program and then just voicing over all this stuff. Now, what this one did at the end is this is their trailer. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. And and that was it. I mean, that was like that was the whole thing. So what I want you to do is say, you know, when you're going to post, so that people have a reason and a day and a time to show up, and a call to action. So don't forget to subscribe. That was awesome, but it was just a call to action, but it didn't give me like any particulars. So what I added was, join me 9 a.m. Monday through Friday, and please subscribe to live a healthy lifestyle with Rebecca. Okay, so. Or don't show up and be unhealthy. <laughs> 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 what the call to action is. <laughs> right. Good, your choice, you decide. So here's the thing about this video is that it was still, I mean, even though I added in all of this extra stuff, it wasn't long enough. Now, it may look like it's long enough because right now it says 54 seconds, but that's with all of the stuff that I added in that I wanted you 
to be sure to include. So it starts with a YouTube view is 36 seconds. So the minimum length for your trailer should be 36 seconds and the maximum two minutes. Start with who, who is your customer? Who are you? Who is your customer should, should be a question. Someone who wants to that you answer, right? Do you want to live a healthy lifestyle? That's, that's your customer. Okay. Then who are you? You know, this is me. I'm a health nut. Okay. Then what and why, what's your content? What's your motivation? I love to exercise, eat healthy meals. I make recipes. I want to motivate you. I want you to have fun. And then finally your when and your call to action. So that's, what's going to end up being here and here. Okay. And then you end it with the name of your channel. So you could also change what I did here at the end where I have join me at nine to uh, nine a.m. Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe. You can make that the last page. Okay. <laughs> if you wanted to, and you could change the pages just by literally grabbing that page and moving it over. And that's how easy. So we would, we would actually end up with like walking for a healthy heart, even if it means shopping, live a healthy lifestyle with Rebecca, join me at nine Monday through Friday, and don't forget to subscribe. So actually I think that is better. It is. Um, I like that better. Yeah, I think that is better. That's so, how easy it is to rearrange it and say, oh, I like that better. Right. right. So it, this is the thing about, I'm going to go to us, honey. This is the thing about Canva that I love so much is that you drag and drop stuff. It's that easy to make changes. You never have to feel like anything is hard. So if you have questions about this, please put them in the chat. It would be good if and life, all of life was like Canva. You drag and drop. Drag and drop stuff and <laughs> rearrange it the way you want it to at any given moment. Right. Wait, I don't like that. I'm yeah, going to well, drag it off. Here. I want this to happen first. <laughs> Make something else happen. Yeah, yeah. Right. I love that. Yeah. Okay. So I think now that I've changed that, I'm going to go back to what I made as the final video. And I am going to, and I want to make sure you can see this because I am going to drag the last one over and put it here because I do think that that works better. And now here's the rub. So let's go to the first page. What did I do? I took out, I took out the video from the background by right clicking on it and detaching it from the background. Okay. Now it's just a video. Well, well then what did I do? All right. I actually deleted it from the page. <laughs> I added a different video to the back of the page. So I am going to go up and click the delete, the trash can up on the top right and delete it. And now on my dashboard, I go down to videos, click on videos. And here we can see recently used videos, but you know, what I did was I typed in, I'm going to go back out of this and I typed in, um, park, let's see, La Lake in park, something like that, you know, and just picked one of these to put in the back. All right. So I drag it in. I click on position, I put it to the back and now I can make it more transparent or I can make it darker, whatever I want. But I also created, actually, I really like this video better. I am going to copy the video on this page and I am going to paste it, hopefully, Paste it. No, that didn't work. All right. Let's go to recently used and I'll use that one because this is the one that I actually ended up using. So I'm going to delete the one in the background and I am going to put this one, drag it out by grabbing onto the dots on the edges to and the right just, size just made it lighter, right? and send it to the back. Um, what I did was I changed the video specifically to the one that I used before, and now I'm going to make it a little transparent. That's so it's not as bright. That's what I mean. 
And then the next thing I want to do is I want to make this graphic stand out again. So I grab the edge of the graphic and oh. pull it out. So now I can see healthy lifestyle and I can move the dots anywhere I like the dots. So I'm going to move the dots up to welcome to my channel. And now I go over to elements and I want to choose a frame. So if you see this, actually what I did was I chose a graphic. So I'm just going to go over to elements and I'm going to type in under, I'm going to click on graphics and I'm going to type in uh, paint circle because I want some kind of a paint circle. And then I'm going to click graphics again and look at all the paint circles that come up. And I'm just going to choose this paint circle because I like it. And now, what did I do? I, I pulled the, the text over right in front of that circle. Now I, it's behind, so I need to position it to the front, okay? And I changed it to white. So we go back up to text color and we change it to white. And now I wanna add a drop shadow, so I go over to effects and I click on shadow and I click on color and I make the shadow black and I give it a little bit of a blur and already you can see everything is changing, right? So this is how you customize the different elements that Canva already gives you. So the next thing I did was I deleted this, this graphic here. I deleted, I pulled, let's see, I'm gonna pull that over because I like it, position it forward, leave it on here. And now I'm gonna go back to elements and I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna type in exercise sticker and go back to graphics. And now what I'm going to find are what they call stickers. Those are animations. And look at that, here's my free, cause you see when I hover over it, it says free. Let me just zoom in and show you that. Right here, when I hover over it, let me do that again. See how it says free right there? Now I know I can just use it for free. I'm using Canva Pro, but you can use that for free. And I just place her right behind Healthy Lifestyle. And then if I type in Healthy Sticker and click on Graphic, here's my guy with the peas. So I like my guy with the peas. I'm just going to drag him down to the bottom. And there we go. And here it is in the final trailer. So that's how I changed these things. So that's how simple it is. Now, let's look with that, see what that looks like. Okay, click that. All right, now the next thing I want you to see is how long is this actual first page? Well, the first page is based on the length of the video, okay? It's not based on the animation. How long this is doesn't matter. It's not based on whether I've animated any of the text. That doesn't matter either. Although if you see the text is selected and up here it says bounce. So the text has an animation, right? It bounces. And I could change that if I want to to block. All right, so I change that to block. But it's the video. So when I select the video and I come up to I'm going to just show you right here. The video is selected because it's got a blue line around it, right? Here it's selected. Here are the scissors and it tells me it's 3.9 seconds. So if I click on those scissors, which I'm going to do right now, here's the video. But you can see that the video is longer than 3.9 seconds when I drag out the purple end piece it actually is 12.2 seconds. Wow. So this is how you make your video shorter or longer. This is also how you choose, let's go back to that. I don't know why it went off of that because I made it shorter. But this is also how you choose where in your video by clicking in the center 
and dragging it across the video where you want it in your video. So let's say... You can use any length of any part of any video. Exactly. So you can use any length, any part of the video. So I am going to drag it back down to three and a half seconds. And now it shows me, because I increased the length of that video to three and a half seconds, now it shows me that, wait a second, I didn't do that enough. Three, I'm gonna increase that to four seconds, okay. So now it shows me that I have a total of 36.3 seconds because I've increased that video up to four seconds. And what I mean by that is, and let me just zoom out for a second here. I've increased it to four seconds, but up here it shows me exactly how long my total video length is. And the total video length now is 36.3 seconds. So this is how you see the entire length of your video. So we've already upped the length of the video from 22 seconds to over 36 seconds just by dragging out each individual video on each page. Okay, so I click the video in the back and you can see up here on the scissors it says five seconds. So now I've chosen a different part of the video and I'm using five seconds on that. Then we go to the next page and this video, I select the video, I'm using four seconds of that video, but I could make it longer. I could make it 5.6 seconds, and now look, I've got 38 seconds total on my trailer. But I highly recommend that you never make it any, your, your trailer or any video, I highly recommend that you never make it even one tenth of a second longer than it needs to be. To keep people engaged, to watch to the end of the video, and be done with it. Okay, so even though you can make it longer, why would you? Only make it as long as it needs to be. So that is it pretty much in a nutshell. All right, are there questions about that? Because this is, I'm just gonna show you once again, here is that original video. And if I scroll down, okay, I can see all the pages. Here's the original video. 22.6 seconds. Doesn't tell me who the ideal customer is, who the ideal viewer is. It does tell me what you're going to find in the trailer um, on the channel, but it's more like, as Sal said, a list, okay? It's not telling me directly, I want you. And then, you know, it, it just ends basically with subscribe to my channel, but it doesn't tell me anything else. And here's the final one that I made, which ends up at 36.4 seconds. Do you want to live a healthy lifestyle? I do too. Hi, I'm Rebecca, a health nut. I love to exercise, so you'll see quick and easy classes. I like to eat healthfully, so get my easy recipes. I need to get motivated, and so do you, with heart-healthy activities like walking for a healthy heart, even if it means shopping. So live a healthy lifestyle with me, Rebecca. I'm gonna be here every day, nine to five, Monday through Friday, so don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so that gives you an idea, I hope, of exactly what you can do to create your own trailer using templates in Canva. It really is that simple. And if you have any questions about that, let me know now because Otherwise, I'm just gonna do a quick recap for you. So what's a trailer? Well, it's just like a movie trailer. You've gotta get your viewers excited to watch. Hook your viewers with snippets of your content, right? What you're gonna be showing them. It should include who your audience is, who you are, what you like to do, why you like to do it, 
when you're going to be posting, and then finally a call to action. How long should it be? 36 seconds to two minutes. Where does it go? Well, it goes on your home page. You do that by choosing the customize button and sticking it up there. And that is where you do that. And that's it. So if you love this and you want to try Canva Pro, there is a link to Canva Pro in the description below this video. It is an affiliate link for me. It gives you a free trial of Canva Pro for 30 days. So you can try it out and see if you like it. If you don't like using Pro, just, just use the free version. You can just use the free version. But if you love Pro like I do, it's $119 for the entire year. It's less than $10 a month. So if you love Canva and you love the idea of using Canva for your YouTube channel, which I love, I am creating right now and it will be ready at the end of the month, how to design a lead magnet for your YouTube channel. And a lead magnet is for you to be able to get the, the content that you need from your viewers and your subscribers off of YouTube. And what am I talking about? I'm just talking about email addresses and names. Because if YouTube goes down, okay, you don't own your subscribers. So this is the reason why you need a lead magnet. You need to get them off of YouTube onto the page where you can capture this information and you want to give them a freebie. And that's what a lead magnet is. It's like an ebook or a checklist or a mini guide or a template, a case study, a worksheet, anything like that is a lead magnet. If you want to take this workshop with me, which I hope you do, join our newsletter because all of the details will be revealed in our newsletter. And there's a link in the description below this video. So if you're a newbie, I have created a very comprehensive and really good YouTube masterclass just for you. It's six very comprehensive modules starting with why in the world do you want a channel so that you figure it out all the way up to how do you film, how do you edit, how do you post, how do you make money on YouTube, how do you market, everything is in there. So click the link in the description below this video for that. And next Tuesday, I am going to be showing you how to create a top 10 listicle. It's so funny that you said that, honey, because this what is going to be a top 10 listicle, a YouTube short list oh. of top 10s. So this is something like um, for your business, it would be your top 10 choices. If it's a travel channel, like your top 10 places to go to see the best X, Y, or Z, or your top 10 favorite places to visit, or if we're talking about a writer, like it, maybe it's your top 10 ways to create a character or the top 10 reasons why you love writing or things like that. So this is going to be your top 10. It's going to be a YouTube short, so it's going to be 60 seconds or less, and you're going to be able to make it on Canva. I'm going to show that to you next Tuesday. So if you like this video, you know I love those likes. Please give me those likes. I love to have those likes. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe, okay, so that you get more of this awesome content. And finally, as always, why be on YouTube? Well, number one, be on YouTube so that you can share the awesome things that you know, because you're an expert in what you know, okay? I'm an expert in YouTube. I'm an expert in business. So I want to share with you how to use YouTube for your business. When you are just you and you believe that you can do this as well, you can make an awesome channel on YouTube. You can help people who are already there looking for your content. And this is actually the whole reason why I do YouTube. So I hope that you will just believe in yourself and do that with us. So now I'm going to go to all of us, Sal, my mom, and me. <laughs> we are going to say our dating game goodbyes. Give me one second. And my mama has her, her fancy tea hat on. I think we're in a hat. Wait. Everyone's wearing a hat. Hold honey. on. So 
Okay. Oh, it's not going to work with these gloves. Well, I'll have to. Okay. So Sal is some kind of like wacky tropical cowboy. I am, I don't even know why. Yeah. <laughs> like Hello Kitty something or other. And my mom is an elegant tea lady. And we are going to say our thank you so much for being here. Dating and goodbyes. Goodbye, guys. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you in the next video. Hey, mom, come this way. There you go. Uh, come over. <laughs> All right. Bye, mama. guys. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions about making your YouTube trailer, leave them in the comments below this video, and we will answer you because we love to help. That's what we're here for, right, honey? Exactly. We love to help exactly. you. Exactly. So you have a fantastic rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video. Toodles. Ciao, guys. <laughs>